Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for uh, being here today. You will notice that I tower above this microphone today, so that's very unusual. But it is only appropriate that we're here honoring the University of South Carolina women's basketball program and Coach Dawn Staley on the 50th anniversary of the passage of Title IX. It should have happened long before then, but we are celebrating the 50th anniversary. We're also continuing to separate, to, to, to celebrate the second national championship in the last five NCAA women's basketball tournaments. In 14 seasons that Coach Saley's been here, she's taken her team to four NCAA Final Fours and been ranked in the AP Top 25 every week since December 10th of 2012, including 44 weeks at number one. Her teams have won six regular season championships and six tournament championships. The, the team we're celebrating here today, she led her team to a record setting 35 wins, which includes 14 over our nationally ranked opponents. I do remember asking her at the beginning of the year, who did your schedule? It, I thought it was quite difficult, but she certainly handled it. We also led the nation in scoring margin rebound margin, block shots per game, and winning percentage. In addition to all the on-court success, Coach Saley is a champion of bringing people together, uniting a community, and building a fan base. That we can call the fan base, if we would like. Her team also has led the nation in average attendance for the last eight years, and it hasn't been close. Our fans and our fans are drawn to her and her team and her coaching staff, the authenticity and how she connects with them individually and as a group throughout all of her 14 years. The passion and diversity of this fan base is what makes having this signage all around our state so very important. On behalf of Coach Staley, her staff, and her players, Dr. Pestides and our incoming president, Dr. Michael Amaritas, I want to thank the South Carolina Department of Transportation for giving us this opportunity to share the celebration of Dawn Staley's program with every South Carolinian and all the visitors that come to our great state. Now I have the opportunity to introduce our Secretary of Transportation, Christy Hall. Christy has been leading the Department of Transportation since 2015. She's been with the South Carolina DOT for a 25 year span serving in a variety of roles in the headquarters and at the field. She's been a great friend to the university, strong supporter of innovation, and outside the box thinking and firm believer in doing things the right way the first time. She's helped us work on a number of projects, and in fact, we're neighbors, if not for the crutches, she would have probably just walked over to join us today. Secretary, we're happy to have you with us, and we look forward to hearing from you. Please join me in welcoming the Secretary of Transportation, Christy Hall. Thank you, uh, Coach Tanner, for those kind comments. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, it's really our pleasure to be here today to recognize the achievements of Coach Staley and the team uh, with the national championships. That's something obviously to be very, very proud of. And uh, I mentioned to Coach Staley earlier today that uh, not only is the entire state proud of her and excited for all the great things that she's done here at the University of South Carolina with the team, that uh, even though I'm a Tiger through and through graduate of Clemson University, Coach Staley has inspired me to follow the USC uh, team, watch the games, be a big fan, and I truly, truly appreciate all the great things that she's done here at the university and hold her in high respect. So, Coach, thank you for everything that you've done, not only for women's sports, but, but for the University of South Carolina. Um, I truly, truly appreciate that and respect and um, have nothing but the greatest respect for, for her and the team and everything that they've been able to accomplish. 
Um, so with that, I'd like to call on uh, Coach Staley, um, Coach Tanner, and the two commissioners to come up behind me, and let's, uh, let's unveil the sign. Thank you. Twenty seventeen and twenty twenty two. Congratulations, Coach Staley. Thank you. With that I'm gonna turn it over to Coach Staley for some comments. Thank you. Thank you, uh Secretary Hall. Um I, I know that um it isn't a an easy project to accomplish something um like this being on the signage. Um, so I want to thank everyone that was a part of the project to, to make this to make this possible. And I, I just feel like signages um, gives us a connection to um, our team, our, our fans, the entire state of South Carolina and throughout um, Columbia. It's, a, it's definitely something that will, will, will touch a lot of people. A lot of eyeballs go on to it. I'm a, I, have a, um, I have no sense of direction. So these signs will actually help me navigate throughout, throughout the city of Columbia. So, so, so thank you. Um, we are, are super proud to, to represent this state, this university, as national champions again. Um, we hope that we can do this every single year. I, I really don't mind if, if the people who put on the project or complete the project, if they don't mind, we don't mind. So it's a... It's an awesome tribute to our team and all the wonderful players who were a part of making this happen. And I have to thank uh, Coach Tanner for actually being the, the inspiration. He's he's won two national championships here at the University of South Carolina, and um, he was a big aspiration in and in, in paving a way for us uh, to to be here and to accomplish those things. And we hope to we hope to one up them next year. <laughs> so thank you, thank you. Our, our staff is here um, to uh, to share in this moment, and we 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 are incredibly grateful for uh, for this and, and and treating women's basketball as an incredible sport. So we're we're conscious of that on on uh, on Title IX Day. So thank you. Um, well, the significance is um, if, if this was something done for every champion in the state, um, it, it, it's only right for, for it to happen for, for our team. And we did not actually strategically choose it, to do it this particular day. I was out of town for a couple of days, and they wanted to get it done um, as soon as possible. But, you know, we, we, now that we're here and it's, it's, you know, the inception of Title IX, I think it's a – an incredible uh, tribute um, for us to, to celebrate on this day. Matt, go ahead. John, where would you like to see women's sports go in the next 50 years? Um, well, I actually want women's sports to, to go to a place where we're treated as a sport. Like, you know, we don't have to, you know, we don't have to talk about firsts. Like, we always talk, we're talking about firsts, and, and we applaud that. You know, like I was at a, I was at a screening of, of our dream on, um, uh, 30 for 30 docu-series and I was on a panel right afterwards and they said it was the first time that um, of all the women's basketball that there was a a multi-episode docu-series and everybody was applauding like like it was a beautiful thing and I'm sitting back like it's 2022 and you know there isn't anything there isn't anything any sport has done in women's, women's sports that will showcase uh, more than a 30-minute or a 60-minute um, show. 
and I, I guess not. But I'm, I'm sure there's going to be more to follow up. So for us to not have to say this is the first time that this has happened um, will, will be great over the next 50 years. For our women, um, I mean, all of them are driving. Um, I mean, I, we just had a workout today, uh, and Aaliyah Boston texted me maybe a few hours after the workout, and she was like, we're going to be really good. And I'm like, you got all of that from today's practice? Like, And she was like, no. I mean, we – this is the exact word. She said, uh, no, we got everybody back, and, and, um, and she said, Ashlyn Watkins is really good. Like – she actually used the expletive, and she doesn't usually do that. And she she apologized for using it in the text message, but she said she's really good. And um, for our our nation's national player of the year to say that, um, if if she believes it, I'm going to believe it. We're going to pour into each other, and hopefully, this takes place again. Okay, somebody just told me this. There are 15, right? And then they're at every welcome center, you know, into the state. And I, I, I didn't hear anything after that. So somebody else could help us out. Is that where? All the main highways into the state. All the main highways into the state. Okay, so I'm not going to take the street anymore. I'm going to take the highway <laughs> just so I can see the signs. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, Coach Tanner has done a great job in securing.